In today's video, losing 20 kilograms in four months and a chicken and rice 900 calorie diet. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com and today's question, I wanna talk about just what happens when you lose 20 kilograms in four months using extreme dieting measures and then what happens when you go on a 900 calorie fat loss diet of only chicken and rice and the long-term implications because a lot of us, a lot of us are here looking for answers. A lot of you are finding my videos on YouTube because you're looking for answers and I too was once the same type of person looking for answers and when you don't have a lot of information and you find someone that says something or is selling something that makes a lot of sense and it clicks and it clicks with the emotional side of you that is excited about the journey about the process about getting the weight off well sometimes we make decisions that are bad for our long-term health bad for our long-term goals. What I really like to do is take these questions that I get from Instagram and put them here on YouTube for more than one person to see because many times if I get a question from someone, well, a lot of people have the same issue and so I want to address this. So let's first talk about our friend here who says, basically she started out in an anorexic place and when she decided that she wanted to lose a lot of weight, well, she just stopped eating. She would only eat every couple days and then even then it would only be three or 400 calories and she managed to lose 20 kilograms in only a couple months. And for those that are not good at math, 20 kilograms is about 88 pounds. That is impressive by anybody's standards. Now, getting the weight off, losing body weight, as weird as this is gonna sound, is not the hard part, no. In fact, that's the easier part of these two. What's the hard part? Keeping it off, that's right. Because when you take weight off in this manner, by not eating, by fasting, or by doing a very low calorie approach, three, four, 500 calorie diets, or even a 900 calorie diet, what happens is that we get our bodies to adapt to this. That's right, our bodies are designed in a way that as we restrict calories, our body changes to ensure we survive, okay? It goes through many changes, which I'm not gonna discuss here, but we'll just call those metabolic adaptations, okay? We become much more efficient at extracting calories from food, at conserving energy, we probably move less, right? And the body just is very good at that. At the same time this is happening, our body also becomes very good at storing energy very quickly. Now, what is the body's preferred form of energy storage? You guessed it, body fat, adipose tissue. It's got a lot of energy, a lot of bang for the buck, okay? So our body is going to be very good at storing body fat very quickly when we do overeat. So I've seen a lot of situations where people take these rapid fat loss approaches, have a binge or two, put on a lot of body fat, and then they can't get it back off. Why? Because the metabolism is now adapted. So to lose that body fat, you have to go into a more severe deficit. So you can see how this cycle plays itself out over the lifetime of somebody who's trying to diet and lose weight. So my friend here, after losing all this weight, started adding calories back in. She mentioned she was adding, uh, eating 1800 calories a day and she put on well, she put on all the weight that she's lost over this journey, okay? She's put all the 20 kilos back on, two, uh, 20 kilograms back on, and then she went on a diet. She reached out to a nutritionist who put her on a diet of 900 calories of just chicken and rice, as she puts it, and this type of approach is very common. I, I see a lot of people selling these on the internet. Why? Because they take no work. Here's your meal plan. Go have fun with it. However, they don't really take into account your history your life cycle, the things that you've been through. One thing we need to account for when it comes to these online calculators or, or coaches is that it's not just the point in time that's important, right? It's not just your weight, your age, but it's also your dieting history that has such a relevance into what's successful to you. Whenever I'm going to work with a client, I have a phone call with them, we sit down, we talk, we go over their history. Do they have a diet history? Do they have a history of low calorie dieting? If they do, I need to take that into consideration before I can give them some goals. Sometimes, my first feedback for someone is we're simply not going to be able to lose weight in a, in a manner that I'm going to be coaching you through. If you want to spend some time restoring your metabolism, then we'll do that. So what should this process have looked like for you, my friend? So if you were on no calories for several days and then doing three or 400 calories, 
you know, my first thought with someone like that would be to start reversing or start building with a three or 400 calorie diet per week. Then each week I would have tried to walk your calories up, say 50 to 100 calories, making sure that we're able to do so in a manner that makes sure you're able to keep the weight off because the one thing you don't wanna do when coming out of a diet is put the weight back on rapidly. Now, a lot of people go, okay, I'm, I'm gonna put some weight back on, but I'll be able to take it right back off. Well, you're not. You're not gonna be able to take it right back off. No, why? Because you've adapted your body to be able to store body fat quickly. You've adapted your body to be very efficient at extracting calories from food. All these adaptations are leading you to putting on body fat quicker. If you just go right back into a diet, your body's still not adapted, okay? Your body is still used to this process of storing body fat and not letting it go. So how do you res restore it? How do you resolve it? Well, we have to spend at least as much time out of a dieting phase, a fat loss phase, as we were in it. Now, if you really manage it carefully and you come out slowly and walk your calories up, I've seen some great situations and I've done some videos with clients where we were able to maintain the weight loss or even lose weight during this process. Now, the goal is not so much about getting weight off. It's about keeping this person happy while we're getting their calories back up to a manageable range. You know, like what's an acceptable calorie range for most people? I think bare bones basement would be 10 times your body weight when you're that lean, okay? So for someone, let's say 100 pounds, I would wanna get them at least up to eating 1,000 calories a day, like on their way up, okay? Now, depending on how much you know work they're doing a day, what their training is like, if they're not training, what their lifestyle is like, maybe that's enough. For some people, it might be more than that, okay? It might be 15 to 20 times your body weight to keep and progress whatever your goals are. But for you, going on these crazy fat loss diets or anyone out there, just understand that there is a risk to this, okay? And what you're gonna find on the internet is what you're looking for. So if you're about to undertake one of these diets, you're gonna find all these success stories, but what you don't find is them in three months, six months, or a year talking about how they failed because nobody likes to talk about that. Very few people talk about the actual failures. They only talk about, wow, I've been on this magic water diet and uh, I've lost 20 pounds in a week. Well, great, you lost 20 pounds in a week. I'll see you in a year, friend, and then let's talk about how things are going. Okay, so don't ruin your long-term physique for short-term goals, okay? So what would I do in this situation? Well, I would just try to get you healthy. You know, not eating for three or four days, that's not healthy. Then going from that to 1,800 calories a day, that's going to certainly put on body fat very quickly, okay? So you can understand my concern here. For you, it's mostly about just getting into a good, consistent situation where you're eating good and you're feeling good and you're restoring your metabolism. And what I'm hoping you'll do, I've messaged you, is reach back out and we can discuss some things from there. Um, but you know, honestly, you're just gonna have to diet again, doing the same things, and so we don't want that. We wanna put you in a position where you're eating more, maintaining for a while, then do short periods of weight loss, and then short periods of restoration. Short periods of weight loss, short periods of restoration. If you're not familiar with the diet, um, a reverse diet, watch my video called Reverse Diet Success with my client, Jamie, who's actually been with me now for five years, and we're about to do our first competition together after spending five years reversing and cutting and reversing and cutting, now putting her in, her in a situation where she's 40 pounds less than when we started and also eating a lot more, but it takes time. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for me today. I hope you're having an awesome Monday and I'll talk to you tomorrow.